Hey everyone, today we're going to show you how to set up and use Gmail's Vacation Responder to auto-reply to your emails when you're out of the office or away on holidays. So check it out. Hey everyone, it's Ken here from Northern Viking Every Day. If you're new here, we bring you videos on reviews and how-tos. So make sure you click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. Today we're going to be showing you how to use Gmail's Vacation Responder to auto-reply to your emails when you're out of the office or away on holidays. It's super handy if you're not going to be at your computer and you want an automatic reply to go out to anyone who emails you so they know that you're away. It's really easy to set up. So let's jump on over to my computer, get right into it and show you how it's done. All right, so here we are on my computer. Go ahead and load up your Gmail account. I have a beach theme going on here, so yours might not look exactly the same, but it's going to be very similar. And I currently have the Gmail vacation responder turned off. Now we need to go ahead and turn that on, of course. And in order to do that, we need to get into the settings of our Gmail account. Now that's quite easy to do. So in order to do that, let's go to the top right hand corner and you're going to see a little gear or sprocket. And when you hover over that, it says settings. So go ahead and left click on the settings. And that's going to bring up the quick settings for your Gmail account. Now, these are the wrong settings. We want to get into the main settings of Gmail. So right here, there's a rectangle and it says, see all settings. You can go ahead and left click on that. That's going to load up the main settings for your Gmail account. So once you're in here, you're going to see a whole bunch of tabs here at the top, labels, inbox, accounts and import, etc. We want to make sure that the first tab, the general tab is selected. It's more than likely already going to be on that tab, but if it's not, make sure that that tab is selected. And from there, you can go ahead and scroll down to the very bottom. And you are going to see an area right here that says vacation responder. Now it says it sends an automated reply to incoming messages. If a contact sends you several message messages, this automated reply will be sent at most once every four days. So what it's saying is if someone sends you a whole bunch of emails, maybe different documents, they're only going to get one auto reply every four days, which is handy. So you're not spamming them when you're away on holidays or out of the office. So let's go ahead and set this up and then we'll go ahead and send an email from a different account so you can see what the reply looks like. So in order to do that, the first thing here is vacation responder off and vacation responder on. You can go ahead and turn that on. Um, we do have to make sure we hit save at the end um, for this to work. So let's go ahead and select our starting date. I'm going to click on that and you can select on the calendar your start date. I'm going to leave that on today. Now we can select an end date. Otherwise, it's just going to continue on. So maybe I'm going away for the weekend or for three days. We can go ahead and click on last day here and select the last day that we'd like it to be on. So um, let's go ahead and maybe select Saturday. So for three days, but if you want it to be on for a month or a week, you can easily do that right there. And from there, we just need to go ahead and create our email. So um, for myself, this would be the subject here. And this is what gets emailed out to the people when they email you. So we'll just do this as a test. And then we can go ahead and create the body of our email. I'm just going to do something simple so we're not typing all day. So I am away. Now, once you've got your big long email, maybe you want a big email or a short email, you can do whatever you like there. You can actually adjust it just like any other email. I can highlight that and change the font. Maybe I want Georgia. Maybe I want larger text. You can adjust that to normal, large, huge. I'll adjust that. You can make it bold, italic, underline, etc. You can add links and photos here as well and adjust the whole paragraph. So once that is all done, all done there, you will see this option here at the bottom that says only send a response to people in my contact. So if I turn that on, it's only going to respond to emails from people in my contact list. And that might be handy if you don't want people outside of your contact list, knowing that you're away. If you leave that off, it's going to send it to everybody who emails you. So I'm going to leave it just like that. And we are all set up here again. Uh, make sure this vacation responder is turned on. And we can go ahead and click on save changes. And at the very top here, you're also going to see um, vacation setting. There's a notification and a yellow bar that's showing that it is turned on. So now that that is turned on, let's go ahead over to this other email account here and send 
a quick email. I'm just gonna say hello. And this is Ken. And let's go ahead and send that and see what the auto reply looks like. All right, so you can see the email showed up here and it says I am away and this is a test is in the subject, just how we set it up over in Gmail. If I go back to my Gmail account, you can see the email I sent is here. If we wanna turn off our vacation settings, there's this yellow bar at the top. We can click on vacation settings and go right back in there or we can load it up the exact same way we did at the beginning. I could hit end now right here at the top or I can scroll down to the very bottom and hit vacation responder off, hit save and it is turned off. And it's that simple to use the vacation responder and set it up for auto reply in Gmail. So I hope this video was able to help you out in setting up and using Gmail's vacation responder. If it did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you're interested, I have created a video on how to schedule emails in Gmail. It's really easy to do. You can check out that video. I'll have it linked below in the description. Also remember to connect with me on social media. All those links are below in the description as well. Thanks so much for watching today and until next time, take care.